Kayla Brace. Someone once said, Artificial intelligence is no match for natural stupidity. I couldn't agree more. But what exactly is artificial intelligence anyway? Artificial intelligence, or AI, is defined as an intelligent agent that perceives its environment and takes actions which maximize its chance of success. The field was founded on the claim that a central property of human beings, intelligence, can be so precisely described that it can be simulated by a machine. The central problems that surround artificial intelligence include such traits as reasoning, knowledge, planning, learning, communication, perception, uh, the ability to move and manipulate objects. When we look at the ethics that can be found within artificial intelligence, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein considers a key issue, and that is, if a machine can be created that has intelligence, could it also feel? And if it can feel, does it have the same rights as a human being? The idea also appears in a modern science fiction film called uh, Artificial Intelligence, which considers a machine in the form of a small boy which has been given the ability to feel human emotions, including, tragically, the capacity to suffer. This issue, now known as robot rights, is currently being considered by California's Institute for the Future, although many critics believe that the discussion is premature. Several futurists argue that artificial intelligence will one day transcend the limits of progress and fundamentally transform humanity forever. Ray Kurtzfield has used Moore's Law which basically describes the exponential improvement in digital technology to calculate that desktop computers will have the same processing power as human brains by the year 2029 and that by 2045 artificial intelligence will reach a point where it is able to improve itself at a rate that far exceeds anything conceivable a scenario that science fiction writer Werner Vinge named the technological singularity. Edward Fredkin argues that artificial intelligence is, in fact, the next stage in evolution, an idea that was first proposed by Samuel Butler's Darwin Among the Machines in the late 19th century. Basically, the futurists and science fiction writers have predicted that human beings and machines will merge in the future into cyborgs that are more capable and powerful than either. And this idea is called transhumanism. My question to my fellow intellectuals is this. What do you think about artificial intelligence? Is AI going to be a real factor in human evolution? Do robots that have a sense of consciousness deserve rights? Is this just sci-fi fantasy? I personally see the AI development as not only real, but real amazing. Artificial intelligence is not going to just be advanced robotics, but with wetware and nanotech, the whole cyborg thing is pretty easy to envision. Now when it comes to ethics surrounding this new technology and new world, well, all I can say is that conflict goes hand in hand with change. An AI entity is certainly coming, and it isn't in the distant future, it is in the foreseeable future. For those of you who have yet to see the Japanese film Ghost in the Shell, I highly recommend it. Besides being very profound, it has some pretty sweet action shots. The main character, Major Motoku Kusanagi, a female cyborg cop, struggles with her personal quest for existential meaning. One of my favorite scenes is when she speaks to the topic of individuality. And she says, There are countless ingredients that make up the human body and mind. 
like all the components that make up me as an individual with my own personality. Sure, I have a face and a voice to distinguish myself from others, but my thoughts and my memories are unique only to me, and I carry a sense of my own destiny. Each of those things are just a small part of it. I collect information to use in my own way. All of that blends to create a mixture that forms me and gives rise to my conscience. Now it's sci-fi dialogue like that that provides an excellent starting point for our own look into our own conscience. Yes, we are human. But maybe that just means we are organic computer systems. This is Caleb Brees. What do you know?